Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the SyncWire Universal Waterproof Phone Pouch. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful, I'll put a link to this in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So this has IPX8 certification, wide compatibility, adjustable strap, sensitive touch, and it has the same thing on the back. It says protect your phone from wet substances like water, snow, dirt, dust under extreme conditions. Premium TPU material. Soft and transparent cover enables seamless use of phone, touchscreen, and camera. Safe and handy. Snap and lock closure system and adjustable neck strap deliver convenience in every detail. Wide compatibility fits all smartphones up to 6.6 .6 inches. So this is a two pack. So it comes with two of these. Here's a warranty card. So I'll Flip this on the top here, that should open it. There we go. Looks like the instructions are inside. So here are the instructions. It says, open the safety buckle inward, put your phone in the waterproof case. Attention, devices larger than 6.6 .6 inches are not supported. Squeeze the air out of the bag. Close the safety buckle of the waterproof case. For convenient carrying, attach the neck strap to the waterproof case. It says, notes, please conduct a safety test before its use. Follow the steps to fill the case with a dry paper towel and submerge it into water for 30 minutes. Then take it out to check whether the towel is dry. Don't use if the towel is wet and contact us immediately for a replacement. Check the neck strap and safety buckle of the waterproof case after each use. Avoid exposing the waterproof pouch to strong impact or sharp objects during use. And then it has the instructions in other languages there. So the phone I have here is an iPhone 6. It's an older one, but this will work with newer phones. As long as the phone fits properly, and they said 6.6 .6 inches, should be good. So I have that in there. I want to press down and remove as much air as I can. I'll close this. And that should be sealed. Let me show that from a different angle. So these will go in here, like so. And that will seal it. So I can operate it. I'll press the button on the side to turn it on. Now the fingerprint reader won't work. This did log me in because I don't have a password on this. This is just a phone I use for demonstrating, but we should be able to use the phone. So here I brought up my website. The camera will also work. So we can see the camera here and you can see the camera through the phone. It's working. Now I imagine this could potentially get scuffed and scratched up, which could degrade the quality of your photos a little bit. So just keep that in mind. You'd want to make sure you don't throw this on like the floor of your car where it could get sand and stuff scratching that up. And of course, if it got a little bit of scratching on it, you could probably shimmy your phone and reposition it so it's in a different area. You could even flip this all the way around. It also has a strap here. So fully extended, this is around 21 inches long. So that can clip on there. Let's see if the phone can come out easily. Put that on there. Yeah, it's not getting in the way. And this strap is adjustable so you can make it shorter. So when I go kayaking, I definitely take my phone with me. You never know when there's going to be an emergency. And sometimes I like to take pictures. So I usually put it inside of a Ziploc bag, inside of my dry bag. And when I want to take a picture, I open up my dry bag. I open up the Ziploc bag. I take the phone out. I'll snap a picture and I'll put it right back. And it's really inconvenient. So needless to say, I don't get a lot of pictures when I'm out kayaking. With a bag like this, I can pull this out and take a picture. And I can leave it out of my dry bag if I know I'm going to be taking a number of pictures. And I could also just hang this around my my neck while I'm paddling too if I need a place to put it because it does have that neck strap. But I think this is going to be a much better option than using the Ziploc bag and the dry bag. This is a lot quicker and a lot more convenient. Now this is made to use with mostly bare phones or if you have a say small case on it, it's not made to be used with a waterproof case. So if you have a big bulky waterproof case already, it probably won't fit inside of here. Although if you have one of those, you probably don't need this in the first place. I like that this comes with two. So I can use one for my phone and then I can give this one to my wife or another family member to use. So I'll probably mostly use this for kayaking, but this is also great for the beach picnics. Maybe you're giving your phone to the kid in the back seat during a car trip. You could give them this and it's a little bit more protected than if you give them the bare phone. And you could also tie this off to the side of their kid seat. So if it falls on the ground, you can easily pick it back up. So that's the SyncWire Universal Waterproof Pouch. That's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.